Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a decent Spanish omelette for lunch. So let's do it. Okay then. So let's get this onion peeled first of all. And then we'll do the potatoes. And yes, before you say it, I do know I have made Spanish omelettes before. I think I've made three so far that I have on my on my playlist. They're different styles though. One is the Galician style, one is the Andalusian style. And look at that lovely onion. And the other is a the normal um the usual typical Spanish omelette. Anyway, today's omelette, it will be still be a Spanish omelette, but something, one or two things will probably change there. I'm going to add some paprika in it today, for example. Get this bit here. Oh, this goes deep. I hate it when that happens. Don't make a hole there. And dig it out. Sorted, sort of. Anyway, this is going to be a bigger one than the ones that I have on my channel already. I'm going to be using the lodge pot. That's why I'm why I'm using more potatoes. I've got about 850 grams of potatoes here, and six six instead of the usual four or five. I did make uh, an extra big one a while back, but I didn't record that, and that was about 2 kilos of potatoes, about 12 eggs, an onion or two, well in total, to, when, I was, when I had to flip the omelette over, between the food and the the frying pan, it must have been about five kilos weight in total. That was a bloody nightmare, but it did turn out good. I did have leftover food for about three days for the evening, which is nice. And as usual, I'm going to be using uh, sunflower oil. I never use olive oil for my omelettes, um, a Spanish omelette. I used to many, many years ago, about 30, 30 odd years ago. But since meeting my wife, she said, don't use olive oil, do use the normal oil. And to be honest, they come out much better. And also, Wait a minute, I'll just go and empty this. Um, where was I? Yes, and also, if you make, if you have leftovers, well, use an olive oil, when it's cold, it hardens up a bit, the, the um, omelette. Right, I'm going to crack some eggs here, can't crack on this because it's plastic, I'm used to cracking on something, I don't like cracking it on there because last time I did that, the egg went everywhere, so I'll just crack it on here, so I'll just crack the eggs in there. Okay, on to the next step. Let's move this a bit. Okay then, so let's start off by cutting this onion up.
Okay, and we'll put it in this plate aside because that's not going to be cooked. It's not going to be added to the frying pan at the same time as the potatoes. They're going to be added um, halfway, roughly. So I'll put that to one side. Let's give this a clean. And we'll start with the potatoes. God, my eyes are starting to, to sting already. a big one. Cheers. Good as new. I'm not going to throw it away, am I? Because it fell on the floor. Not that fussy. When I was smaller, something fell on the floor. My grandmother, she used to pick it up give it a clean and give it a kiss or chuck it in the pot. Have you ever heard of that? It's like with the bread. If you ever if you ever throw bread away, have to throw bread away, she would kiss it before chucking it away. Just give it a kiss. Because it's a sin to throw bread away. That's what she used to say. And I used to do that up until a few years back. But I might say, that's because I don't throw bread away anymore. That's probably why I stopped. Anyway, all this is done. So now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> the eggs I'm gonna salt them and today I'm gonna add some some paprika to it a sprinkle of it probably get the Spanish people um, cursing me now watching me do that but hey I'm gonna be eating it not you so let's um Let's give this these eggs a beating. You know what? To make it even more interesting, 
Add a drop of milk. Now that will get them talking, won't it? Probably get some stick in my short videos. But I'll get there, just do that to wind them up. Can't help it. Right, so, um, oh, this is done, everything's ready. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the camera over to another position and I'm going to put the, the frying pan on. Wait there a minute. Okay then, so the camera is up there back to its usual position and it's really windy outside. I can hear the wind up in my extractor fan. So let's turn this up. I'm gonna whack it up to full heat. I wanna bring that so that it's hot. Let's add a few potatoes in. Once they'll start once they start sizzling, I know that I can chuck the lot in. Okay, so as you can see, the oil it's sizzling, so I'm gonna add the potatoes in and try not to burn myself like I usually do. Spot on. And now something else that I do which will probably annoy, also annoy the so-called experts, because I like to salt mine here. Hey, it's how I like to do it. For me, it comes out better th this way than doing it later, you know? So, we'll wait for these potatoes to be half done so that we can add the onion in. I better turn the extractor fan on as well because it's going to get steamy here. Right, let's give this a move over. And I reckon it's time to add the onion there as well. I hate it when they stick to that. Oh, I don't know if you remember, you know I bought these um, chilies that you eat just like that, straight from the jar. Um, tip of the day, what I do is this, I keep this juice. It smells great. And when I make a salad, which I usually just add salt, olive oil, and um, vinegar. This is great for replacing it with the vinegar. Awesome taste. Give it a try. Oh, and by the way, I was thinking of putting some, um, what do you call them? I don't know, onion slices in here. I'm pickling them as well. Have you ever done that? What would you put in? Let me know in the comments. Cheers. Okay then. So, this looks like it's done. I think I've added too much onion. My wife's not gonna be liking this. I'll have to disguise it somehow. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to turn this down, right down to number five. And I'm going to take everything out and put it on this. I use this so that the oil will drop onto that frying pan. And when I've finished fishing everything out, the oil from that frying pan will go back in here.
Okay, that's enough oil here to do the omelettes later. Fish this one out that got away. Doesn't look a lot, does it? What the hell? Well, it'll have to do. Because I'm going to be doing this one in this big pan. I think these potatoes have shrunk. No idea what happened there. Alright, so what I'll do next is, instead of moving the camera about, I'll just do everything here, is I'm going to chuck the potatoes and onions onto the egg. And so this guy's the onion. I'll mash it up. Which will be like a you've probably seen me do this before. A Andalusian style Spanish omelette where they mash the potatoes up. I was planning of on just mixing it about. And, you know, just adding it like that, but as the onion, I think I miscalculated too much onion. Not for me, but my wife, she doesn't like it. And don't forget, you know, a happy wife is a happy life. So I'm going to mash this all up as best as I can. You know what? Sub this fork. I'm going to get one of these out. What is it? Potato masher. That's better. And I'll put the... Whoa! I'll put the pan on there. Which has got the rest of the oil. Not a lot, but enough. Let me clean this up first. Right, let's warm that up. I'm going to put it up to number six. Continue mashing this up as best as I can. And once that is hot, the oil, well, hottish, I don't want it smoking away. I'll add this to it. I think that should do it. Can't see any evidence of big onion bits. So I'll be alright today, I'll be safe tonight. Oh, that's snackering. So, let's wait for this to heat up. Okay. It's even windier now. I heard it blowing up here. The extractor fan. So, once the oil is hot, you can see because it flows about really nicely. Let's add the stuff in. These are cool, these rubber things. They leave the bowl so clean. I wish I had bought one of these back years ago. Okay, so we'll wait for this to cook. We're going to turn it up to number seven. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okie dokie. So look at that. Whee. So it's been there for seven minutes on number seven. And yes, it's nice and toasty. So 
it's asking for it's asking me to turn it over. So let's check the plate in. Ah, hope I don't get bent. And flip it over. Way, look at that. Beauty. And we'll chuck it back in there. These are good for this. There you go. And we'll leave it on there for about three, five, five minutes. Should be enough. Okay then. So let's flip it again. So basically you can, um, you know, if you want the egg runny inside, just cook it like for three minutes on each side instead of five to seven like I did. I like mine to be, I don't like it to be runny, my wife likes it runny-ish, so I'll do it half half, half, well, you know, half runny, half not runny, if that makes sense. Let's do some flipping action. I get a few people moaning because I flip my arm up too much, so there you go. Flip. 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 Last flip, and voila, here you go, a decent omelette for my lunch today. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Lovely. Well, so today's recipe has been sorted. Thank you for watching everyone, if you have any questions please ask me in the comments and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching again and goodbye.